Well, they both had a run the weekend before last, um, which was sort of the timing was good. Wisp went to Kempton, and admittedly it was a two-horse race. He planned his oboe, and if you actually go back to last year, there wasn't much between them in a novice chase at Cheltenham last, before Christmas last year. So they met again. Um, look, it might have only been two horses, but it was exactly what we wanted to do. We had a good, you know, he got a good jumping session into him, and it was a good race. I mean, he won narrowly, but it was, uh, they're two good horses, and that's what we wanted for the timing, it was perfect. That was only two and a half. It'd be much better over this further distance, so that was good. Vita went to Aintree and ran in a hurdle race, only because I just couldn't find a chase to run him in, and where Whisper, being a second season novice, has the advantage of being able to run in graduation chases, and I know people don't like them, but God, they're vital to us, you know, because they give these young horses a chance to take the step up in grade. And when you've got to try and get ready for something as as serious as the Ladbrook chase is going to be, um, you've got to be very streetwise. You've got to have a lot of, you know, it's going to be fast and furious. And for the novices, or the, for last year's novices, they've got to be as sharp as you can get them. And I know Whisper's not necessarily a young horse for a second season, but he's got that profile of a second season novice that, that you've done so well with. It. Well, he was, because you're right, in the past we've used Trebolgan and Bobsworth, both won this, and they both had finished their previous season winning the RSA. Now, Whisper very nearly did. He got beaten in nose, but it was by Mike Bite, our own horse, and thank goodness he was there, because Mike Bite virtually threw it away. Um, by sort of a detour to the Guinness bar um, halfway up the running. But Whisper, I mean, he, you know, and he, he, to be fair, he was the second best horse, but still, that is the profile that's, that's we've, we've come in here before with and it's worked. So let's hope it's good again. But that said, um, I know you've always thought Vita de Rock has a nice stay in handicap chase in him. Well, he finished last year j just literally being beaten in the nose by. Uh, in, in the Bet365 at Sandown and really whereas that's much the sort of end of season star chase this is the first big handicap of this season over three and a quarter and you know it, it should be yeah I think he, he had a good run over hurdles the other day it should sharpen him up and now we're good to go.